One of the most valuable skills you can obtain in After Effects is being able to colorize and texture your motion graphics. With just a few memorable tricks, you'll be able to turn boring motion graphics into incredible masterpieces in no time. Let's get started. Okay, the first thing you should do is lay out your motion graphics and animate them if you like, but just lay them out and put them on the field. And no need to overthink color either. Black and white graphics are just fine, I got you. So when your design is ready to go, now we can colorize and add epic texture to your graphics. So we'll start with our primary graphic, which is this circle in my case, and then we'll right click the layer and go to layer styles. To colorize this, we'll add gradient overlay. Right away, click edit gradient. To keep things simple, we just need to use two colors. So we'll set one of the color stops to a primary color, like a light blue, and set the other color stop to the darker version of that color. And we can very easily change the angle of the gradient, and this will allow us to redirect the gradient. But a really cool thing we can do is alt click the stopwatch, and we'll add the time asterisk 10, along with adding the amount you change the angle by, and this will give your gradient movement, making it more alive in the final result. Okay, we now have a basic gradient. Now, right click and add an inner glow. Set the color to the primary, brighter color you chose for your gradient. Then increase the choke and size to around 30. Now, go back to layer styles and add bevel and emboss. You rock boss. Cut the depth in half to about 50%, Increase the size to over 100, and finally adjust the angle. Our objective with the angle is to place the whitely affected area over the brighter area of our gradient. But it's coming together, and as an optional layer style effect, we can add a drop shadow. And I would just set the opacity to 100%, the size to around 100, and the distance and angle will just vary on the size of your graphic. Right now, we're so close to making the scene look incredible. And the best part is that you can just copy and paste these layer styles to your other layers so you don't have to do all that work again. And depending on the size of the object, you may want to uh, tweak the inner glow and bevel and boss settings. However, now we're just moments away from making our scene vibrantly pop. And speaking of making things pop, if you want to speed up your workflow, be sure to get our 100 free template pack along with our free animation presets for After Effects link below. With our Motion Duck extension, you can animate entire scenes within a matter of a few clicks. We also have over 25,000 plus templates available for AE and Premiere Pro. So if you do pick up anything, you'll be supporting our channel. So thank you very much. Now that we're back in this thing, let's go ahead and create an adjustment layer and apply the noise effect to it. Set the amount to around 12% and uncheck noise type. This will give your scene an overall texture. Now, if you like, apply the posterize effect and set the level anywhere from 6 to 12, depending on your preference. Uh, and to make things vibrant, add the glow effect from Stylize. You can experiment the settings here, but set the radiance to 400 and the intensity to 2. And to make your scene truly come alive, all click the stopwatch for glow radius and add a wiggle expression. For example, wiggle 2 comma 200 should be great for your scene. And speaking of your scene, everything is looking great. However, sometimes it's best to enhance the beautification of smaller objects. These smaller circles are kind of being stubborn, you know, like that time I refused to stop jumping over the fire pit. Anyway, if you want to push smaller objects even further, I would copy and remove the layer styles, then pre-compose each layer, then go in that composition and paste the layer styles back onto the original layer. From here, we can apply the glow effect. Uh, I would adjust the threshold so we can actually see a glow and increase the glow radius. Then I would duplicate the glow effect and adjust the same settings until your object blooms. You can then further the texture with the noise effect once again. I'll heavily increase the noise amount because I'm a maniac. And lastly, you can add posterize again and just adjust the level. And then you can paste all these effects to your smaller objects. And almost perfect. You thought I was going to say perfect? Well, you would be wrong. So to make this perfect, let's do something that I'm calling motion texturing by adding the posterize time effect to an adjustment layer. By setting the frame rate in half to 12, the motion of our scene now looks gritty, beautiful. Subscribe if you want to be the best and always be creating.